Hello, and welcome to Protect a Trust class on Office 365 Message Encryption. In this video, we will discuss how to send, view, and reply to encrypted messages in Office 365. We will demonstrate this through the Outlook desktop app, the Outlook web application, and on mobile devices. Please note, these instructions will only work for organizations who have enabled encryption services. More specifically, we will discuss sending encrypted messages in Outlook 2016, the Outlook web application, or OA for short, and mobile devices. We will also show how to view the encrypted messages on these devices as well. Finally, we will take a look at what an external recipient will see when being sent an encrypted message and how they would reply to them. Encryption services work with Outlook 2016, which is a part of your Office 365 initial install. To send an encrypted message, compose your email as you normally would, including the recipients, subject, and the body of your message. Then in the menu bar, select Options, followed by Permissions. If your Outlook has multiple accounts configured, select the account you are sending from and select a permission level of your message. By default, you will have four permissions to choose from. However, your administrator can choose to remove or add permissions and change their names so your permission list may not look exactly like this one. But let's review the default setup. Unrestricted, meaning there is nothing preventing the recipient from forwarding, copying, modifying, or printing your message. Do not forward, meaning the recipient can read the message, but cannot forward, print, or copy content. Confidential, meaning the content can be modified, but cannot be copied or printed. And confidential view only. The content cannot be modified in any way. Confidential and Confidential View Only are only accessible for internal users. Sending a message to an external recipient marked Confidential or Confidential View Only will result in the recipient unable to open the message. Mail tips are also provided once you select a permission. No matter which option you choose, the message will still be encrypted. Click Send when you are finished choosing the permission level on the message. If we wanted to send an encrypted email through the web-based version of Outlook, sign into portal.office.com in your web browser and select Outlook. Click New to compose an email and select Protect from the menu. Just as in Outlook for Desktop, we can select a permission level. We can then compose our message and click Send when complete. To send encrypted messages from your mobile device, Open your web browser and go to portal.office.com and select the Outlook icon. Click the plus button to compose a new message. On the subject line, select the ellipses and choose Protect. The default permission is set to Do Not Forward. Compose your message and click Send to complete. Now that we've seen what it's like to send emails in Outlook 2016 and through OWA, let's see what it's like to receive a message. Because Office Message Encryption utilizes your email address and password to decrypt the message, if you are already signed into Outlook or OA, an encrypted message will appear normal, but will notify you of the permission settings on the message. For this message, we see it is set to Do Not Forward, so I am unable to forward, print, or copy the content. Whether you use iOS or Android, phone or tablet, you can still receive encrypted messages on your mobile device. The recommended way to view encrypted messages is through the Outlook app available for free on your device's app store. Just like in Outlook for Desktop and OA, since we are already logged in, the message is decrypted automatically. If we want to use our device's native mail application, then we will see a notification message letting us know that we have an encrypted message to view. We click on the Read This Message box and are asked to sign in to view the message. Once signed in, we can see the decrypted message. Now that we've seen what it's like to receive encrypted messages as an internal user of a company, let's see what an external user would see. Here is the message we sent to ptrust.guest at gmail.com. Click Read the Message to begin. I am given two options of authenticating my identity and thus decrypting the message. If I click Sign in with Google, I use my Google credentials to authenticate. Since I'm already signed in, the authentication is seamless. Or I can receive a one-time passcode. Please note, one-time passcode is the only option for recipients who do not use Google, Yahoo, or Microsoft. 
By selecting the one-time passcode option, an automated email is sent containing the eight-character passcode. Once I enter in the eight characters, I am able to view the message. Either authentication method allows you to view the message in the Office Message Encryption Portal, and once signed in, I can also reply to a message. Since the message is sent from the Office Message Encryption Portal, it is sent encrypted as well. This concludes our session on Office Message Encryption. If you have additional questions, please contact us by email at support at protectedtrust.com or by phone at 1-800-876-1422, option 2.